Hi Aquarius, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do a reading for you for the week of July 22nd through the 28th. This is for Aquarius Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. This is just a message from my guides for you. So it's not going to be like anybody else's. Okay, so this, and remember the timing is fluid. So whatever comes up, comes up. This is a message from my guides for somebody. All right. So we're going to start right here. What do we have for Aquarius? What do we have for Aquarius? July 22nd to the 28th. Mm. Indecision. Indecision. You guys are in, in, in undecided. Undecided over something. Whether to stay or go. Which way to go. Well, that's what we got here. We got somebody who doesn't know which way to go. They have, they have to choose, right? There's two paths. Both of them are unknown. They, they're both labeled unknown. Okay. So, which one is going to take you to a better place? Which one is safer? Now, they both there's butterflies on both sides. So, there's transformation here. You need to get comfortable before winter sets in. I don't know where that came from, but um, because it, you know, you see the leaves are falling. It's like it's starting to get colder, even though it's not getting colder yet. It's like thinking about your future, right? That's what's going on here. We got somebody here that is is really undecided as to which way to go, and the unknown is the absolute worst part. So the unknown is is really on your mind. Right? Facing your fears. Let's get one of these. What do we have for Aquarius? Children. Oh boy. If that's pretty accurate, I'm willing to bet. Your love life is being affected by children. It is. You could be dealing with a partner who has children and that's an issue. Or you have children and that's an issue for them. Or, you ha or you're with somebody that you have children with and, you know, you can't make up your mind. You can't decide what you, what you want to do and because of children. Children are absolutely a factor in this indecisiveness that you are going through right now. It does have to do with children. Maybe you're worried about what the children will say, or you just don't want to deal with these children. It could go so many ways, okay? It could go vice versa, whatever. Children are absolutely a factor in, you know, your fear of the unknown, fear of what, what about the children, something like that. Um, that's the deal. Well, there's children here, and... Breaking trail. A breakthrough is at hand. We're going to read that one. You're at the beginning of a breakthrough. Everything you've been doing for the past few years has been a preparation for what lies ahead. There are instances when the path isn't clear ahead. Isn't that freaking amazing? Okay. That, it says that. So, yeah, there are instances where the path isn't clear ahead. And that's your biggest issue at this point. Um, and in those moments, sometimes you need to break trail. In your life, it may seem that the path disappears. However, the only way to reach your destination is to push through. Keep going. Do things in a new way. Imagine a woman giving birth. It's hard, but through her great effort, a baby comes into being. Something new and exciting is coming into your life. It's not about following the path ahead, but, but creating your own. It's time to stop standing on the edge of life and just take that leap. Your patience is going to pay off. 
old limitations and inner blockages are dropping away. Don't let fear keep you from moving forward. Let me repeat that one, okay? Don't let fear keep you from moving forward. Say it. Now you say it. Don't let fear keep you from moving forward. <clears throat> Let's just change a word. Don't let fear keep me from moving forward. This is truly time to allow yourself to experience the fear. Do it anyway. Something from which you've waited a long time is about to come to fruition. Don't be afraid to jump in with both feet. Your efforts will help create a trail for others. Jump, go, do it. You know what it is. I, I don't even have to keep going because you know exactly what you need to do. This is your reading. You just got your answer. You know what you got to do. The fear, stepping out of your safety zone, not worrying about what society has to say or other people have to say, that's the biggest fear right here. It really, really is. It really is. What do we have for Aquarius, dear God, angels, spirits, and universe? Ooh, oh my God, the very first card. I mean, what? What? I mean, there's hope. This is this is there's a hope for renewal here. You, this is a this is an opportunity for wish fulfillment for you to for your your wish to be granted. It's like they're trying to grant you your wish, but you have to seize the opportunity, Aquarius. You have to take the opportunity. The opportunity is in your hands. Take it. This is hopes and wishes fulfilled. But you have to seize that opportunity. Take that opportunity. Look forward now. Let go of the regrets and end the stagnation that you've been in. Oh, son of a bitch. End the stagnation that you have been in. I mean, I can't. It is the words. It's just the way it goes. Okay? End the stagnation you've been in. I mean, what the hell are you waiting for? Christmas? When it's cold out and it's even worse? I don't know what you're waiting for, but there's an opportunity for wish fulfillment here. It's an opportunity for you to go after your dreams, but you got to protect yourself and you got to believe in yourself. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. You ha may have to be flexible. You may have to adapt to some new circumstances. You may have to deal with a little bit of chaos to accept change, but it is time for change. But, you know, some of you are worried about the money. You're worried about the assets. You're worried about the home. You're worried about what you're going to lose financially if you follow your own path. If you go your own way. You know, this is like a, a relationship coming to an end. This is like a long-time relationship. This is probably a marriage for somebody that has been married a really long time. Could be. Could be a... a this doesn't have to be a marriage. This could be a job. It could be a job. It could be a career. It could be something like that. This is this is uh, staying in it just because there's a roof or it's stable. You know, it's something, but it's definitely not enjoyable. That's for goddamn sure. Excuse my language. Anyway, I can feel it. This is like a dying dream. It's, and this is your dreams, okay? This is a dying dream, okay? And this is your dream. So it's like, what the hell? You're going to let your dream die? Because of what? Because of children? Uh, because of what everybody else is going to say? King of Swords. You know, you're very intelligent. People respect you. You're a leader. People do look up to you. But you have to... Stand in your power. You have to protect. It's a card of protection. And this is too. You need to protect yourself. You need to be decisive. You need to be decisive. You need to make the decision and stick to it. 
We'll zoom that in in just a minute. Let me get the rest of these cards real quick. Ooh. Well. So Aquarius, it looks as though this is putting the brakes on blocking. Blocking love. Oh my God. You're blocking something emotionally fulfilling. You are. Look at this. You're blocking something. You're blocking your own happiness. And it's like there's an unexpected opportunity for happiness here. There really is. There's an opportunity to be committed to somebody that could make you happy. But it's like you're not allowing. You're not because, I mean, the Eight of Wands reversed and the Knight of Coins reversed. It's like you're not allowing, you're not letting, you're not, you, you're not letting anybody get too close. Or you're not allowing somebody, you're not allowing the path to open up. You're not allowing change. Um, and this is major change. This is transformation. But you have to release. <laughs> so Aquarius, I feel like this week you're going to be releasing some, some relationship. You're going to be releasing some relationships. A relationship that used to be, or you're thinking about it. You're think, There's indecision here. Maybe you're really heavily just still thinking because, you know, you've got to become a fucking warrior to face your fears. So anyway, um, this is a relationship uh, that was once stable, was once secure, falling apart. Okay, it's over. It is over. You may be biding your time. But, you know, you you have to not let your fears control you. Go back to what I told you at the beginning, you know. Um, fears are controlling you right now. Now, fear of change. But this is a major change. This is a release. Once you release, a new life begins. And, and you are about to embark on a new life, just like the card said. So this is your chance. This is your chance to face your fears and commit yourself to to happiness, you know? Stop blocking happiness. I feel like you guys may have met somebody, maybe it was at a reunion or a party or you're going to and there's it's just like there's an unexpected connection here. But you you have to face your fears about change and about what everybody else is going to say to get your happiness. It's it's a life lesson. It really is. Strength is a life lesson. And right, you got somebody here who's not showing their ultimate strength they're not they're not they're 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 letting there's no courage there's no confidence they're feeling weak um and you you need to find your your strength you need to find your courage you need to find your your um inner power okay you do to take back control of your life you need you need to Follow your heart, Aquarius, and, and and somebody isn't. There's a lot of doubt but this is a major new beginning here. It's a card of transformation. You have a new beginning waiting for you. But in order to get the new beginning, you need to have faith and you need to release something. Because death is a is an ending. Endings bring new beginnings. And this is the last card. And this is some sort of relationship, stable situation that used to be. It used to be. It's over. It's done. It's time for you to step on to that new path. So I feel like this is a week of... Making that decision. This is making that decision. This guy is very decisive. He's got the power in his hands. So I feel like I feel like you guys are going to be presented with the opportunity to release something that is no longer stable and secure. You can choose to keep juggling. You can choose to keep hanging on and adapt to the chaos that this is bringing by holding on. Or you can choose to release it and start over. There's an opportunity for a new beginning here. But I think the opportunity is in your hands. I think that you're really holding on to something that needs to be let go of.
I think that there is an unexpected opportunity for love here. I do. But you're scared of it. And the biggest reason you're scared of it is because of what everybody else is going to say. That's what I got. Good luck. Release. We have a new beginning here. Something, something is a transformation. Something new is about to begin. But the wheel of fate, I mean the wheel of fate, the wheel, the wheel of wheel of fortune. For the for the change to happen, you if free will plays a part. So you have to release. You have to release the unstable, insecure, no more. <laughs> happiness here I'm sorry but there isn't you have to release that situation and accept change to have the happiness that you have been dreaming about so there is it like a wish being fulfilled it's like a wish is being fulfilled a wish is being granted or it has been granted but it's like you're just not taking it it's like see, you're looking away you're looking away Wake up, please open your eyes. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. I think that you know. I think that you know. You guys see what's mirroring each other. I think that you know that it's time to release. You know that something is over. You know that. But you've been blocking your emotions. You've been blocking your own courage. Seriously. But there's a, there's a, this is good fortune, believe it or not, four of wands reversed. It really is. An upcoming celebration. This is unexpected opportunity for commitment. This is like an unexpected person coming into your life. Could lead to marriage. Anyway, so I really feel as though Aquarius, you, they're trying to grant a wish for you, but you're not allowing it. Good luck. 